basically this is this could be a belt loop this could be a strap this could be a whole bunch of stuff okay so basically we're gonna overlock this one edge okay and and I'm just gonna kind of go a little bit fast just to just to get it done because we, we got a lot of work to do but basically We just overlock this one edge. Now, we don't, there's another way that you can do it where you don't have to overlock it. But I like to overlock it because I like how the stitch looks. Okay, I like how the stitch looks so that we're going to fold it over like this. And then we're going to fold this over like that. And then we're going to stitch it. Okay, but see, I think that that stitch looks good. Another way that we could do it would be we could turn it like this, and I showed you that, where we could turn it like this, and then we sew it down like that. We do a stay stitch on it, and then after that, after we would do the stay stitch, then we would fold it over and still do the same thing. Okay, but the difference with the stay stitch is going to look cleaner like that, but I happen to like this overlock stitch. I think it looks good on the finished product, so, so that's why I do it. In fact... You could see it like right here. Okay. Normally they would make the threads match, but African style is that they don't match the thread. You you match the thread where you could see it. Okay, like you see that's all black or you see that's all blue. Although I got a green thread in there. But a lot of times in African style, uh, because they got so many threads, you just use some some threads that kind of match and only on the part that you could see if you can't see it it don't matter if it matches only a white person or somebody that's real finicky will be complaining about the thread that it doesn't match where you can't see it. if I have a customer like that and they don't like my sewing and, and, and they talk about some thread it didn't like where you can't see it it didn't match I don't do no more business for that person because sewing is too hard and a motherfucker is lucky to, 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 to have me making some shit on their sewing machine. To have me making some shit for them. Because I have a 250 year waiting list for, 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 for jobs to make shit. And I tell people that if they want me to make something for them. If they give me a deposit. I could get started by 178 years. So that's how far behind I am. And look if you just glance through. Just... And all of this, just hit that table back there. You see that table? That's how much work, that's how much work that I'm behind on just right here. Just, just, just right here. This, this is just, this is the work I'm behind on. That's the immediate work. I got work over there I'm behind on. Okay? That, I got, I got work everywhere that I'm behind on. Okay. I'm the only reason I'm saying that is because that's why I say I got a hundred and seventy eight year waiting list just for me to get started on some shit. So if a motherfucker if they got and we'll make a clean version of this, but if a motherfucker man if they got if they got me making some shit on the sewing machine right away, that means that they got to the front burner. Cause I have two hundred and fifty year waiting list. It would take two hundred years just for me to get started on this. And that's if they made the order today. But anyway, okay, so this is at a half inch. I'm going to make it just a little bit less. But this is going to go fast. The only thing about sewing is that it's real fast. Now, this is the foundation stitch. So it takes a little bit longer to sew the stitch. But what you do, you get the needle in the fabric. You get the needle in the fabric. And then once you got the needle in the fabric, then you can come to the end of the table. Okay, and then you, you, you get it even. And then... And then you just sew it. And again, put the needle in the fabric, come to the end of the table, fold it over, and then sew it. Fold it, sew it. And then when you have these extra threads like this, put the threads inside of the hem. Okay. Now this, this is a really messed up motor, so it's really hard to uh, make this motor act right, but I'm gonna show you some good sewing in a minute. This is the foundational stitch. This is the hardest stitch. It takes the longest to do this stitch. Now you can put, depending on the thickness of the of the uh, of the uh, 
of the strap. This is sort of like a strap. It could it could be like a shoulder strap. It could be belt loop. It could be a shoulder strap. It could be it could be a lot of stuff. Oh, okay, okay. So now that I'm at the end, okay, and then at the end, technically you don't have to lock it, but you want to lock it at the beginning and the end. Now there's different ways to do it. What I usually do is that I'll turn it over and then I start stitching on the on the what I would call the right side. This is more like the wrong side or the back side, and this is the front side. Now I'm using this this little edge right here. And I'm going to go fast. This is going to go so fast, you're going to blink your eye and it's going to be over. But I'm going to use this edge right here as the guide. So when I'm sitting it down, I'm sitting it on that line. Okay, and then and now I'm on the top. So now, now look, now, now, now this is how you want to sew. Okay, so you see what I'm talking about? So there's that, there's the second line. So now I'm gonna put the third line. And then on this one, I'll just put the fourth line. So, because when I make the belt loops, I will put four lines, okay? But again, now, in order to be able to sew fluid, and now keep in mind, this is a fucked up motor, okay? But, but because I have good control, but you notice how, you notice how I'm just, I'm just guiding the fabric. It's moving at the speed of the feed, dog. In fact, look, I'm guiding it with one hand. And then I'm going through the motion with the other hand. I got a little bit off right there. But that's because I'm more just demonstrating and fucking around, okay? Because I'm just fucking around, okay? I'm not, just, this is, okay? Now, I'm going to put the fourth stitch. Technically, this one is a half inch away, but I'm not going to go a half inch. I'm just going to use the edge of the presser foot as the guide. Okay, so that means that I have, uh, like you can see the thread right on the edge of the presser foot right there. Okay, and I'm just throwing this fourth stitch in there. It's more decoration. In fact, the only stitch that's really important, and I'm I'm going a little bit off because, like I say, man, I'm just I'm just like messing around. This is this this is this is just a demonstration, just to kind of show you how you want to sew, and and how you want to make the machine fluid. And this motor is fucked up. If I had a better motor, it would it would be real smooth. This 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 motor is fucked up. But when you're a bad motherfucker, you can you can have a fucked up motor and still get the sewing done. So so basically that's what you're looking at. Okay. So there you go. So so now this could be the strap. This could be the strap for the bag. Okay, like here's the bag. Now I got these other straps, but but basically this could be this strap and it can just fit on this bag just like that. Okay, and then you could sport the bag with this strap. And if I was making the gray, then I would, if I was making the gray bag, then this would be the strap for it. So anyway, so that's the short. So we done.